Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Eric, KJ4YZI, you're watching Ham Radio Concepts. Today on the desk here I have something that Astron was kind enough to send me for a video to check out, and this is going to be in my ham shack for future, probably to replace my MFJ that I've always used, that always worked well, but Astron, everybody knows Astron makes a great product for many years. You remember the big old linear transformer type power supplies that were just heavy, but those things would run forever, ever, and everybody had an Astron. Well, this is the Astron SS30M, which is their new switching power supply with a couple other features to keep it modern, and it's actually going to work well on my desk for me to be able to charge my 705, my phones, and stuff at the same time as running when I get my HF radio back in the shack here. Let's check out the new Astron SS30M. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. So the Astron SS30M, the product data sheet says, it's a switching power supply, 13.8 volts DC, adjustable, 30 amps of peak current. This little bad boy right here will handle really 25 average and a peak up to 30 max, okay? And uh, input voltage is 120 to 230 volts AC, uh, a 13.8 volt output, adjustable plus or minus one volt. And you would do that here on the side here and uh, you'll have a, I'll show you here, you'll have a display for the voltage and the amperage that you're drawing on the front, okay? And uh, so it's it, it's a really nice solid unit, not much more to see on the data sheet here. Nice metal chassis here on the back. So let's show you on the front here. On the front, what they added was two USB ports in the front and what I'm gonna use that, you know, charge my e-cigarette, charge my camera batteries, charge my, uh, uh, phones at the same time because I do have those outlets in the wall that have the, the dual outlets and the USBs or I have outlets that you just use power bricks but how convenient to have just the USBs on the same power supply and charging as I'm using my radio. It's also got two sets of Anderson power poles up front okay and that's good because I get to I'll show you here in a second uh, what I've been doing here as I'm trying to regroup and get my new shack together, which is not gonna be in here, but I'm trying to get back into the ham radio scene. In the meantime, I'm gonna be running a window or wire through the window here at this desk until I get my ham shack built in the other room. But uh, my 705 runs on five watts on the battery or 10 watts with an external BioNO battery that I use with BioNO um, uh, and the uh, Anderson power poles on it. Well, now I can just plug that DC cable to the 705 right into here and get my 10 watts and charge the internal battery at the same time. Now also you have on the back the screw terminals so that you can put wire in the back. Let's say you have a radio that's just got a, uh, a flying lead as they call it or open positive and negative. You can un undo the, uh, the uh, Allen keys here or the flat heads on the side here, positive, negative. It does have a fan on the, side, on the back to keep it cool and your standard AC input. Okay, so very simple, very light. I think the weight of this, let's see what this, the specifications are. Um, it says case size is two and five eighths high by seven inches wide by eight and a quarter inches long. Okay, smaller than the, di the, the a sheet of notebook paper. Uh, 4.3 pounds or two kilograms. Let's plug this in real quick and give you a sight of what it looks like here. So when I plugged in, First thing I noticed is on the side with the voltage adjust, you'll see it looks like it increases that little display when you go clockwise. You would think clockwise would mean higher voltage. That's not the case. It's backwards. So I'll do a little test here. Swing will go up to the max output, which is about uh, this way, about 14.9. And the minimum would be about 12.5. So I'm going to dial it in right at about 13.2. So I'm going to have my uh, 705 connected to it and stuff when I need to. Now, the thing about this switching power supply, for those who don't understand, and I am in no way, shape, or form any sort of engineer, but I understand it this way. A regular Astron linear power supply with a transformer in it, you know, the big heavy one, a lot of times you notice when you turn them on, they go thump and they turn on. That's, if that's a 30 amp power supply, that's putting out 30 amps the minute you flick that switch all day long. 
and you have that power available, but you're using a lot of power to make that 30 amps. This here, a switching one, is only going to turn on and, and put out minimal power until you draw from it and request more, then it's going to get, it's going to switch and deliver more to, to fulfill the needs. If you're drawing 15 amps, it's only going to put out 15 amps. If you're drawing 25 amps, it's going to put out 25 amps. If you drop down to using three amps, it's only going to put out three amps. So it's a little more energy efficient, something like this. So I'm going to use uh, this and plug in my 705 real quick and just show you what I mean for uh, having something like this, why I'm going to use it. And, uh, and there you go. Now the average person is going to have something like a 703 or a Kenwood 590S or I don't know, whatever radio operates on 12 or 13 volts. This is all I have right now. Remember I sold all my stuff in the process of buying it all back after I bought this house. I had my tube radio as well. That's 120 volt. So this is five watts and there's a battery in, inside. And if I want to charge it, uh, I could hook it up to the external cable, which I crimped on some power poles. And instead of having the BioNO battery sitting on my desk, I could use that now for other stuff. I can take this, plug it in the side, and uh, right into the power supply here. Okay. Now you can see that I'm drawing now 0 0.4 amps, and that's to do with powering the radio externally. If I transmitted with my antenna connected, you'll see that the amp current draw down here will go up. But now I can power my radio off of this without having to use my BioNO uh, on my desk. You know, I can have this thing set up probably over here by my monitor and uh, have a, an HF radio going one day with the antenna. And then when I get into my new shack, a 30 amp or 25 amp power supply like this is going to run a 7300, a 9700, uh, not at the same time, but any HF radio at 100 watts draws about 20 to 23, 24 amps, depending on the technology. So a VHF, UHF mobile, sure, you could plug it in here. You could actually plug in one radio in the back on the screw terminals a couple in the front and use one at a time. So you have one, two, three outputs. And then again, you could plug in your USB here to charge a phone or to charge uh, your camera mic or charge a, uh, a wireless microphone, whatever you got that uses you know, USB for, for charging. All right, so that about does it here. You get the idea about the Astron power supply. Thank you Astron for sending it. Gigaparts does have it on their site. Link is in the description. Uh, a lot of vendors have it, but Gigaparts is my friends and are my friends. But uh, Switching power supply by Astron with uh, a, a solid case, uh, a nice small form factor, and something that you could agree that Astron makes good stuff, and you would expect that they make just as good as stuff today with something like this. 7-3, everyone. KJ4, YZI.